Hey everybody, it's Camille Dama, your online Ableton certified trainer. And with the new Dive in Live, I have something really special to announce because today is the day that Ableton 11 has been announced. Ableton Live 11 is going to come out in Q1 of 2021. And I'm so lucky that I already have it and I've been playing around with it for a while. And it's amazing. And I'm going to show you all the new features. Uh, not all at once. I'm just going to show you a few by few. So today I want to show you the reverb. And uh, I'm going to launch more videos and show you more in-depth videos on, um, uh, on all the new features. So let's dive in and uh, go into Ableton. And at first glance, you can already see the whole interface is way more... I don't know, more, more sharp, so that's, that's nice. Um, we got a master CPU meter here where you can show average or current. And you see per channel, you see how heavy the CPU, lo CPU load is, which is great. Uh, you always see here we got a new Redux. Uh, there's a hybrid reverb now. All the audio effects have neatly been put into, um, into folders. Oh, there's so much stuff. The grooves are here separately, which is nice. Uh, you have templates now in here. You have your uh, save as default template, which is great. So lots of stuff to show you. And um, I can't wait to show you all. There's so much more. There's also in your in your MIDI clips, there is now um, um, MIDI polyphonic expression, which is great. I'm going to do a special one on that as well. Uh, we have a scale mode in our... Um, in our um, uh, uh, um, MIDI editor, <laughs> sorry, so excited. <laughs> uh, so we have a A minor here, and now I put scale, and you'll see that it will only show the A minor, which is great. So this is great. There's lots of stuff coming today. I'm going to be focusing on the reverb, or today. I'm going to make more movies today for you, so don't worry. Uh, this is the reverb uh, movie. So here's the reverb. Let me load up a brand new one for you on the clap. And um, just a dry clap and a clap with some reverb. So how does this new hybrid reverb work? Well, it's a hybrid reverb between a convolution verb and just a algorithm verb. And you can actually combine the two in parallel or in serial, or you can actually have um, uh, the... Um, uh, a shimmer algorithm verb there's so much uh different ones so check out um the uh the things that you can do with it so if i play it here uh, and i put it all the way blend it's now in serial mode you can set it to parallel mode as well um you can set it to algorithm mode so it's only algorithm or convolution mode so it's only convolution you'll see that um uh, the algorithm part is um, grayed out and if i put it in serial and I put it all the way to the left, you see that it's also uh, grayed out. So that's pretty cool. So let's listen to the uh, algorithm one. And you can just browse through the algorithms and have different vibes. And you can use it to, of course, attack. And you can use the decay and the size. It's gonna wobble a bit, you know, because it's, uh, it's just a convolution. That's what convolutions do if you make the size really big. But it's pretty cool. You can make, make really cool effects with this. Here. I really like this. This will be cool. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so yeah, and then you have the pre-delay, which is cool. Um, you know, if you make, uh, make the pre-delay, pretty cool if you do it on on uh, milliseconds as well um for, uh, on milliseconds but you can also put it on 16th notes actually if we put it on the hi-hats it's, i think it's pretty cool to uh it's really nice this is really cool you can feed back uh, the pre-delay back into its input so it's going to be more of like such a thing that's pretty cool it's really nice. It's really cool to have this going on. It's really cool. So that's a bit like on the um, on the convolution verb. You have a lot of uh, different ones made for verbs, and you have all these different uh, different um, different presets, so to speak, of uh, of convolutions, which is nice. I think it's nice to have a chamber uh, for these. So you have, even have the Ableton Canteen, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and um, 
classic room vocal chamber all that sort of stuff so yeah it's really nice you know you have uh, you have a lot of stuff to work with and to explore here and it's just endless uh, there's an eq building as well you can put it pre algorithm or post algorithm reverb uh you know so it's it's really cool you can shape it in a lot of different ways you can put low cuts or shelves on the edges and um and yeah the eq is pretty uh, pretty cool to have in there uh, a bit like the fab filter also has the the reverb inside of the of the eq inside of the reverb which is cool and um yeah so let's go to the um to the other one uh, we can also just select here algorithm and we're in the algorithm let's let's throw it back on the clap here so it's a great great amount of um uh, of decay let's put it back it's nice to have this go on maybe back to milliseconds okay so we have just a normal decay just a normal side which is cool when you have a long decay nice to play around with damping a lot of damping will damp the the reverb uh, we have the shape, you know, sort of creates the different kind of shape of the of the room, make it maybe more round or, you know, just different, uh, so the sound is diffused differently. And there's the bass multiplier that you always have. And if you choose like shimmer, you get some other options here. You get more diffusion and shimmer, and um, you can say you can hear the tail of the um, the uh, reverb is being changed. And with pitch you can change that and with the modulation you get more of a chorusing effect and delay it just like a pre-delay and we have this freeze and you can feedback the freeze so that's crazy <laughs> you get super long reverb tails it's also great to create some crazy effects with this and then record these and reverb these so you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this so that's great there's a bass mono everything under 180 hertz will be uh, made mono uh, you can make it super stereo um, there's the dry wet of course which we all know and then you have the like the serial uh, where you can actually have them uh, in serial so to go into each other and you can blend them uh, the way you want you can also have them next to each other parallel uh, which which yeah allows you to create different results basically so that's the reverb you know a convolution chess slash algorithm reverb and um yeah, it's great, you know, uh, Ableton Live 11 is, is amazing. I can't wait for you to work with it. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you all uh, that is happening on, um, on the Ableton front with this. Um, hey, my camera went smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I'm going to upload way more videos about uh, Ableton Live 11. And uh, I hope you're just as happy as me. Uh, tomorrow, um, it's going to be the 11th of the 11th, 2020. And at 8 p.m. CET time, I'm going to do a live show where I'm going to show all the uh, functionalities of Ableton Live. So uh, make sure to be online and let's nerd out with a bunch of people online. Uh, maybe I'm going to call some people that are online, some artists that are watching the show. And I'm going to ask them if they, uh, if they like the new features and, and whatnot. So thank you for joining. See you in the next one. Bye.